Alright, so in this tutorial, we'll be doing a Kaneki, or a, in general, just a Tokugol eye in Photoshop, and how I do it step by step. It's kind of easy, you know, you just have to follow. I did my best as to not include as much masking, because, you know, it's kind of pain having to mask, like, individual hair strands and all that, you can see. All I did was use the brush. So yeah, I'll start by removing that first. So the first step will be importing your photo. It could be at any angle, honestly. I've tried the same edit on other angles, but most likely you want to have a photo looking at the camera because we'll be using this, this PNG file as your eye. Or you can just change the hue and make your eye red. Anyway, but the easiest process is just get this PNG, which I'll be putting in the description by the way. So yeah, anyway, let's skip right to the first editing process. Just copy and paste this, Control c after you select it, and then make a new layer and paste it. So how do you move this? Just Control t just the select command and move all that. I suggest you, um, you don't necessarily have to like fit it within your iris, but it's the very best solution. Because most likely we all have different eyes and that um, we have smaller circles. This one's like not centered so it looks it might look weird on some people. But in that case just follow where your uh, the black part of your eye is. You just match it like that. Because all together it's gonna blend eventually. So after you edit that um, to fit right into your eye, select this uh, option called layer mask. Uh, I don't know why it's not showing, but yeah. And then invert it by using Control i So that should disappear. Now it's time for you to select your brush, which is, uh, this is the brush I used, just soft round. So yeah, instead of masking, which is gonna take a while to select the hair strands, with this one, it can be a tidy process, but it's a lot easier than what you normally do when masking. It's just uh, paint over i mean usually you'd have photos without your hair <laughs> um dangling over your eyes if you have bangs but in this case i do and if, if that's your case as well then you should follow my step you just just draw on what's visible so yeah it might look weird because uh it's kind of cut you know there there isn't any transition or shadows but we'll add that together as we... It's normally with the Tokugo eye, you have to make the uh, the white area black as well. Keep selecting and eventually, you know, I'll skip right into that. It should look like this. Like that. So it looks weird for now. But it's gonna look a lot better when we make the eyes uh, black. And the, the white area black rather. Now we skip right into the black part. You can see it from afar that it looks good already. Like no one even notices that it's too fake. I mean, most likely you'll be putting on filter, you know, within your edit. So it doesn't like show the not really good editing. But yeah, we can make it better. What you want to do to make this area black is uh, go to adjustments. And then go exposure. Uh, this will set the uh, whole photo dark, which is really good. Me personally, I go for four, negative four. And now we do the same thing, which is uh, control I by because it's automatically a layer mask. So you can like, so do the same. Get your brush tool and paint over the black part, which uh, I'll be doing right now. I should my skip to it or fast forward this. You know. Alright, so we've kind of done somewhat like half of it. You can see when you zoom out, it's pretty much done. But when you zoom in, it looks weird because there are these white areas. Which in case, what I mentioned earlier is just, you know, close to the hair strands, put a bit of black to it. For me, I just smudge a bit because these areas are naturally dark because the hair is, you know, covering. Pretty sure you know. Some basic shading. But yeah, no one really likes shading, you know. Like, but yeah, it's good. It, it's good to pay attention to as much detail as you can because there's a massive difference if you put in all the small details together, like all that thing. It all blends together, which is a big difference. But you know, that's pretty much all you can do if you wanna do the basics. But this is the easiest way if you wanna like do a quick edit. You know, you don't have to go crazy yeah if I zoom out you can see the difference it makes now this is very extra you know 
I think you've pretty much accomplished what you needed. It's the eye, but if you want to add more spice to it, you can add the uh, the veins showing. You know, you can just draw it like that, and, but that's kind of slow. This is a brush from, uh, let me get, I think I have the name. Yeah, from Big D's Light Lightning Pack. I'll also link that in the description, you know, you might want that. You can do a lot with this, you know, you can make branches from trees. So yeah, for the veins, I suggest going with a dark red color, not necessarily black. Because it's not really black, it's more like, you know, vein. And don't go too hard, that's why I, you know, I press once usually. Also, if you want to rotate your brush, you don't want, like, all these looking at the same angle. Just go to the brush settings, and then go settings, and then just rotate it, you know. Alright, so I'll get back to you when I find a good edit for this. So yeah, hope you enjoy watching me edit. Also, um... I'll be mentioning how to remove these, you know, obviously we will just erase, but yeah. But don't forget to use different brushes, you know, this pack has almost 12, I haven't really gone through all of them, but there's a lot of brushes. Okay, it's all to your preference, you know, what looks good, what doesn't. So after editing your vein, that probably took a while, but now's the time that you add your filter, you know, you, to finalize it, you, you have to do uh, Control, Alt, Shift, and E all together. Alright, so to edit my filters, I usually just go to Camera Raw Filter from the Filter tab and then set my own preset from that. So this will be my preset, you know. Alright, that's it. Um, subscribe if you want more content or if you want to pay attention to more of what I'll be uploading. So yeah, thanks for watching and enjoy your Tokyo Go Eye and flex it to your friends. Yeah, see you guys.